Merhabalar sevgili İmeci TV izleyicilerim. Bugün özel bir röportajla karşınızdayız. Avrupa Parlamentosu'ndayız. Avrupa Parlamentosu'nda Parlamento Türkiye Karma Komisyonu üyesi Ernest Maragal ile görüşeceğiz. Kendisine son gelişmelerle ilgili sorularımızı yönelteceğiz. Son dönemin belki de en çarpıcı başlıklarından biri oldu Türkiye'de Avrupa-Türkiye ilişkileri. Bu yüzden de detayları sizinle bu röportajla paylaşmaya ve yorumlarını Sayın Maragal'ın aktarmaya çalışacağız. Thank you for having us, Mr. Maragal. And uh, I wanted to start actually yeah. uh, the latest developments between Turkey and EU. Yeah. Uh, the deal which is done a couple mm -hmm. of weeks before mm -hmm. and started the process. And also there was a meeting today, just today, uh, just today this morning the about the budget. Yes, yeah, yeah. Budgeting. Uh, but it's only only the first approach to the to the to the question because yeah. We don't know enough. Mm -hmm. we, we don't know exactly how, when, who is managing, and how is uh, the money coming from. Mm -hmm. um, we have big figures, no? 500 million, to be um, uh, contributed by the uh, European Union budget, mm -hmm. and, and 2,500 million to be. Um, Bring by brought by the member states, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll see because it's it's not clear. It's also not clear what uh, it's the, the the title is humanitarian aid. So in, yeah. in a very big uh, sense, mm -hmm. it's uh, okay. It's, uh, it's uh, we agree. You no, know, in this in this, but uh, I think that here in the European Parliament, at least, we should have much more knowledge, much more detail, and much monitoring, much more possibility of, of uh, following uh, the, the process of this next two years, what is going on. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps it will be not enough money, in, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And um, at least myself, I do not agree with the idea that just we are, from, we are uh, adopting a, a payment operation. We are paying Turkey in order to avoid the arrival of uh, the, it was it would be the worst yeah. uh, image we could uh, the, with the worst reality you know, because uh, I think on the first consideration is we are talking about citizens mm -hmm. uh, about uh, more than two million citizens uh, mm -hmm. and, they, and their needs and their uh, hopes and their rights that's about it and how, how do we how do we manage these rights these hopes yeah. and uh, when we are starting, uh, that we understand this process is already started with the budget uh, talks and 500 million is yeah. going to go. Uh, but there is a there is a com commitment. There is a, a real compromise from the European Union, adopted by the Council. No? That's the Council. The Council they rule. <laughs> you know, the Council yeah. are the they, they rule. Where the, where the states uh, meet and where they, where they rule. Yeah. they take decisions there. No? That's I think it's it's sure no? in, in this sense. Uh, we, have, we can count on uh, 3,000, uh, uh, 3 billion mm -hmm. euros. But, but then, then it's the other side of the, of the question. Uh, something good people talk about conditionality, mm -hmm. uh, and meaning uh, pre-accession talks, um, opening chapters for this pre-accession, entering in the real matters that uh, should be entered in any case uh, with or without refugee crisis mm -hmm. then rule of law then uh, freedom of press uh, then justice then uh, you know, everything you know perfectly and much better than me yeah, yeah. and you were uh, before before the talk started actually that day uh, there was an article that you wrote in politico yeah. that we read in that article also there the, uh, you were mentioning this humanitarian increases and uh, after that, in Turkey, also people started to talk that this humanitarian crisis started to be used by Turkey as a bargain chip. Yes, in this talk. Uh, Do you agree that? And what, how, what are your comments? Is it really work, or what, it's going to like that? It's a risk that it could be confirmed no, by the European Union uh, attitude and decisions. No? I think it's something to avoid absolutely. No? And I, we have not to to, uh, to permit eh, to let it uh, happen. No? I think we have we have to be um, really aiding Turkey as a mm -hmm. whole country, yeah, society, people uh, in in the managing of that diff very difficult critical situation no? because we are receiving uh, such an amount of uh, people coming from extreme conditions is is not an easy one. Then Europe has to be there. No? 
but has to be there uh, in unconditionally. Yeah? Uh, but then uh, it's, it's true that at the same time, but much time ago it should be this way, Europe has to be, um, how to say, exigent, has to be um, much harder in mm -hmm. the, in the um, defense of European values and the European rules mm -hmm. and, and uh, talks with uh, Turkey, Turkey institutions. Mm -hmm. I think that we have a, a double kind of contradiction. I have been there. I, I know much Turkish people, Kurdish people. I think I have the feeling that most of them, they feel uh, European and they want to be recognized as such and they want to uh, advance in this process. But it has to be a genuine one, mm -hmm. and not in change of anything, mm -hmm. not in change of some uh, needed money for a, for a, a conjunctural uh, dramatic situation. Mm -hmm. We have to afford this dramatic situation and we have to advance. But in a real advance, the real advance is to be done inside Turkey. Mm -hmm. and, and also? Then it cannot be bargain, it has to be principles, values, rights, and respect. But it came in that point that uh, Turkey and Europe dealed about at least five or six chapters that li lately we learned from Turkish press that uh, there was a letter from Yankar uh, to Turkey about yes. these five chapters which is declared after the meeting because there were some rejections well, also yeah. in the meeting. Mm -hmm. What are you t uh, thinking about these rejections and also I want to add the visa uh, issue because Turkey uh, talked a lot lot about this uh, it's, it's, it's, it's the big success no, of this yeah. of this talking is the, the big new victory no, yeah. of Turkish uh, regime um, I'm in favor of, uh, of uh, closing positively the, the visa question mm -hmm. but it's again the same thing no it's uh, it, it should be done and not in, not in, not in a change of uh, anything it should be done. Because it's a real question. Because uh, Turkish people has rights and has to be has to be respected, it has to be I mean, used be, uh, well used, of course. No? And then there is also responsibility for Turkish mm -hmm. Turkish institutions, Turkish government, and Turkish presidency, of course. No? Um, but at least uh, I remember the, the discussions last year here in the Joint Parliamentary Committee. I was already defending the, the need for uh, reopening and accelerating, accelerating, if possible, the visa question. Mm -hmm. Then uh, welcome no, the situation if it's a uh, possibility to, uh, to have real advances. Mm, but the thing is a lot of responsibility on both sides in, mm -hmm. uh, in advancing in the, in a, not, not just uh, in the name of the urgency, but in the name of a uh, real agreement, a real conviction, a real uh, respectful position, and a real um, consideration of uh, Turkish people's rights. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, does it come uh, realistic, at least about this visa, visa issue, when it rises? Because already Europe is talking about this Schengen area and you know the border controls, etc. That because yeah, now yeah, they're yeah. giving date mm -hmm. in the next year mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that they're saying. And it's, it's, it seems. Uh, how to say, it's, uh, there is an obvious contradiction also in this sense, no? because we are talking about a future paradise, to say, mm -hmm. but you, we are building barriers on the, on yeah. the other hand. Then that's who is, who is uh, telling the truth? <laughs> where, where will be the, the uh, there is a balance point. No? The, the, I, I don't know, I, I'm not very optimistic. Mm -hmm. In the European side, no? I think that we have a real problem in, here in the European Union of going back in the sense of abandoning all the European values, acts, rights as European, and we're coming back to national member states' uh, policies and decisions. Uh, it's the war reaction that the refugee crisis. Uh, Claims for the, the, the refugee crisis claims for more Europe, not for less Europe. Yeah. No? And instead, by the moment, by the moment, we see this uh, perhaps uh, comprehensive uh, reaction, understandable reactions coming from some specific countries that they they see the arrival of uh, such people that they, they are not in conditions to to manage. Mm -hmm. uh, but here is where, where Europe should uh, 
be able to, to share mm -hmm. eh, and to distribute correctly the charge and to, and to respect the rights of this, uh, the, this I insist, of these citizens, not just refugees. They are not objects that, uh, that have to be uh, keep it in... Uh, not just uh, numbers. Not just numbers, not, not just uh, walls to keep them closed uh, mm -hmm. at the country. You know? Uh, and what do you think about that? Did, uh, Europe uh, was late to interrupt the situation about Syrian refugee crisis. Uh, it was late, uh, or uh, also uh, with the connection of this question, uh, what about uh, uh, war and the opposition in about Syria, and what about the role of Europe in well, that, what's uh, going on in there? Well, I think here. Yeah, I think that the, we have been, uh, but the reaction has been much lower than, than should be necessary, of course. But it's also uh, an indicator of, of under which point the problem for Europe comes from a long time ago. You know? mm -hmm. There is a uh, European responsibility on the launching of this crisis and the, and the war conflict, uh, war open conflict, not only European, of course, uh, because we have to count on uh, the United States. We have to come down the responsibility of uh, Arab and Muslim countries. Uh, how do, should we consider that uh, the acts from coming from uh, uh, Saudi Arabia or mm -hmm. some, uh, I think many other countries in, in the zone, um, or in Russia, I also. But any any case, uh, some people this morning in this meeting you were mentioning before. Some people have defended that oh, the European Union has reacted uh, very well, has been, we have been uh, very uh, quick in, in uh, our, uh, deciding to put money on uh, this. Well, I don't think so. I think that um, I think that that we are we are viewing, we are making visible the insufficient existence of a, of a real European government uh, to, that can take decisions, decide on uh, public resources mm -hmm. and how to react uh, afford, to afford a problematic situation as this one. I repeat, uh, refugee crisis claims for more Europe eh? and Europe is... Uh, we, we don't know where we are, no? we are just asking ourselves uh, who the uh, United Kingdom is uh, thinking and uh, living. Uh, some Eastern countries are just afraid, uh, just uh, feared, uh, expressing fear for the situation. Uh, in German, uh, the, the, the, the first reaction has been positive, in Merkel attitudes also. Uh, uh, now it's arising also a, a much critical reaction. I have been this morning also with the uh, president of the baden württemberg uh, Lander. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's really concerned uh, because he's in favor. He's uh, positively decided to to take his responsibility as his, his German institution to receive people, to, uh, to respect the, its rights, etc. But uh, he's finding more and more uh, scarcity of resources and uh, citizens' reaction, uh, negative citizens' reactions, and phenomena. Then it's it's very concerning no? all the situation in European terms. In, in this case, uh, I wanted to ask. Uh, even you said even Europe is thinking where we are. What are we doing now? Yeah. And we we we are following the news all around Europe about these discussions, etc. And this at this moment, what does it mean re-energizing? Because that this uh, special word used for Turkey. What does re-energizing re the accession process? Yeah, accession mm -hmm. process of Turkey. Well, who knows? Perhaps the, this question will finish to re-energize European <laughs> <laughs> institutions and, and willing to, to, to, to build something in common in the future as the as European Union. Perhaps I, I said before that the refugee crisis is claim for Europe. I think also that the answer to, for instance, the Greek situation claims for more Europe. And I could add now, relations in Tur with Turkey claims for more Europe. Right? Because Turkey is, is too big yeah. uh, to be treated just as another country that uh, 
uh, can be uh, the question of the accession authority can be managed by, in the interest of one or uh, one German in favor, uh, French, uh, French in, uh, against. Uh, you know, it cannot be managed this way. Mm -hmm. uh, Turkey needs to have a clear dialogue and clear uh, interlocution with the European Union as a whole in a committed and united position. It's much work to do in this sense. It's not. It's not. It's not uh, right here. This position. Uh, during during these discussions, also after and before, uh, also we we heard about Greek ministers' uh, rejections or some comments about Turkey and uh, becoming more authoritarian regime in Turkey, be, uh, to, uh, claiming Turkey yes, to becoming yes, more authoritarian. How does it going to affect the relations? With but the, the problem is not not. Greeks are, have all the rights to say such things, but we don't need to expect them to say it. Yeah. We, we can see it by ourselves. No? Yeah. We, we see it. And we are concerned also by how things are uh, going, uh, which kind of things are happening in Turkey. And that is not acceptable no? in, in, in any, in, in, from any consideration, from any point of view. No? Violence, uh, violation of basic rights, uh, freedom of press, Killings of uh, so, so representative people as uh, we all, uh, we know, and more and more frequently. It's not the way. Obviously, Turkey. Uh, it's, it's, in this sense, it is still more clear that we, mm -hmm. can, we cannot accept any kind of bargain, uh, and closing our eyes uh, and, uh, and in change of uh, more or less. Uh, appropriate uh, attention to the refugees now. It's, it's not possible. No? It seems that the, this the problem is Turkey by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. we have to, uh, Europe has to take his responsibility influencing and pressing in a positive way, respecting the Turkish people, but uh, making it clear, very clear, which are the limits, which are the, which is the future in common, if Turkey want to, of course. This process uh, with EU, uh, or, uh, can it be also affecting the future and can it be also uh, affecting the future of Turkey in this uh, authoritarian ongoing uh, that can it be effectively better, can it change it into better? Uh, hold this process because Euro uh, human rights, uh, freedom of speech, these are bases for Europe, the yes. European Union. I think I am in favor of entering, you know, yeah. opening the chapters, uh, making it objective, no? you know, talking things how they are, not, not, not uh, hiding nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's perhaps the scenery we need to to be able to, uh, to enter in every, in every question. Mm -hmm. and not, not, uh, well, because we are now in the, in the war situation. Mm -hmm. Because we have no, we don't have the table. We have no, have the a scenery to, to, to put it uh, as it, uh, as it deserves, no? in, in a very clear manner. What Europe considers unacceptable, what considers impossible to, to, to be compatible with any accession process, etc. No? Mm -hmm. Then. Um, Let's think it would it could be for for good, no? Mm -hmm. This this this period, but the uh, the real condition is uh, then both European Union and Turkey takes it seriously and genuinely, no? not not just as a part of this uh, apparent uh, interchange mm -hmm. uh, or trade. No, it's not a trade. It cannot be a trade. Uh, it has to be a, a common and parallel work. Share it, uh, but based on real changes in Turkey, based on real uh, new attitude coming from Europe also, no? because we have to recover from 10 years of going back in Europe also. No? Mm -hmm. There is a responsibility also in Europe, uh, coming from Europe in, in not helping uh, Turkish society to, to go on to advance in this, uh, because we, we have we have perhaps uh, created the conditions for uh, some uh, Turkish responsibles to think that uh, Europe will not admit us never, then, uh, and then um, promoting the, this alternative attitude that we can also see now. Mm -hmm. Is Turkey deciding to uh, exercise a role of leadership in the geostrategic mm -hmm. uh, consideration in the zone, or, uh, or Turkey is? Uh, Considering, really considering to be uh, 
part of Europe committed in sharing uh, everything, mm -hmm. uh, also the strategic consideration. It's, it's a decision the Turkish, uh, Turkey has to, uh, has to take. Uh. Okay, for last question, that, uh, first you're attending all these talks and you're following from inside and you, you know uh, everything that Turkish ministries and uh, European joint delegation is telling to Europe uh, what they're going to do about uh, refugee crisis, what they're going to do about European process. Uh, does it come convincing what they're offering to, for this whole uh, human rights and uh, freedom of speech issues also in what's going not, on in Turkey not, mm, and also from the opposite side? Not by the moment, not by the moment, okay. not by the moment because, well, first thing to consider, we have not, why are we not convoking for next week the Joint Parliamentary Committee? Eh? It's what I think we should we should do. This we have also in our problems here in the European Parliament. The Greeks' position, the Cyprus question that's still there, blocking almost everything, and evidently for the Turkey side also there's a lot of uh, reluctance to enter really in, in these problems. Then, but I think the only way is to go straight in uh, mm -hmm. this field uh, mm -hmm. and, and to look at the eyes. <laughs> Of each other, and let's let's uh, let's talk about everything. Let's uh, let's build something in common. Let's uh, let's help us uh, mutually. You know? mutually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for having us and uh, answering those questions. Thank you to you. Evet, e, bugünkü röportajımızı burada tamamlamış olduk. Sayın Ernest Mergal bizim sorularımızı yanıtladı. E, umarız Avrupa Birliği ve e, vize konuları özellikle Türkiye'de çok konuşulurken sizin de aklınızda takılan soruların hepsini e, cevaplamış e, olmuşuzdur.